What's going on, arcade and Vectrex nerds? Uh, I, I, you know, last night and today I, I did a little experiment, and uh, it ended up working really well. Now, there, now I have heard people talk about doing this in the past, but I've never actually seen anyone do it. I mean, and and obviously logistically it should work, right? Well, it does, and here it is on video. It does work. I don't know if anyone's done this before. I mean, odds are someone has done this before. Um, but <clears throat> I thought it was really cool. It would be a really cool video to show you guys. Now, to be honest, I've already lost interest. <laughs> so, at least, at least maybe this video would show proof that it does work to anyone else that would love to further develop this. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, geez, it would be so simple. Um, now, now, okay, what I've done here is this is a digital picture frame, okay? I tore apart the very top layer, the screen itself, and and uh, of the LCD panel, okay? And I removed all the backlighting, okay? And once you remove all of that, you have this screen, okay? And it's a, and it's a tinted, transparent screen. Now, um, most of these screens even if, if they are not gloss, they are a matte finish. And so what I did is I got linseed oil and I um, rubbed it on this screen very light, very light, and rubbed it almost entirely off. And now this is 100% dry and it's now a gloss finish. Uh, I suppose, now this is just an experiment. This is not something that, you know, but anyways, that, that's the way I went about it. Now, I suppose you could use many, many other things. I, I wouldn't suggest clear coat spray paint or something like that because obviously that would add orange peel. Uh, that's, so that's why I went with a rub-on finish. But anyways, <clears throat> um, the things, what this, what this does is it will replace an original overlay. Now, if you're not familiar with Vectrex, uh, it's a black and white uh, home vector uh, console, okay? And uh, since it's black and white, when you bought the cartridges back in the day, and now all these new guys that are, that are still producing these, these awesome games, uh, they are producing their own overlays, and there was original overlays that would go over the screen, okay? And, oh, yeah, hand me that. Here's an example of an overlay. <laughs> but the, this overlay would go over the original screen, and, and that's how you would get color on the black and white uh, monitor. Well, if I were to project, on uh, a project, to display an image on this LCD panel, now since it's translucent, the, the vector light will go right through and be colorized by the LCD panel itself. Um, the, cool thing, the cool thing about this is, you see this original thing right here? This is a static image, okay? Now, now if you buy, by the way, I put this here to trick the camera to stay in focus because I was having a lot of difficulty uh, keeping this camera focused, and that ended up being the trick. So in my future vector videos, vectors are very hard to record. In my future vector videos, you may see this <laughs> just just so I can get the damn camera to uh, focus. What was I talking about? Shit. I don't know. I don't remember. All right, Larry. Let me continue rambling on before I show you this. Um, something that is interesting, I believe. Oh yes, I said I was talking about static. Now that image is static, right? Well, a programmer, which is not me. I'm not a programmer. I'm more of a hardware guy. <laughs> a programmer could could make a raster game in the background. For example. Um, you might have an asteroid ship, right? An asteroid ship moving around? Well, someone could program that uh, a, a sh the shape of your asteroid ship being red, and it follows the vector around. So you could always have a red ship, and so on. So a programmer um, could be able to, you know, alter the colors on the fly and pick which vectors they want to be colorized by simply making a triangle that's that color, or something like that. Uh, so I thought that was, that was pretty cool. I hope someone, you know, does this. I would love, can somebody do this? No one ever does the things I want. Um, <laughs> but here's another idea. Um, this screen is a pol it has the, the top layer is a polarizing filter. And 
One thing I thought would be kind of interesting is you could uh, possibly get uh, shutter glasses and use the polarizing filter on the glasses to display one image and then, then the other image underneath th through, through that with, with through your eyes. So in other words, um, if you rip off this polarizing filter, you would only see the vector, white, the white vector. So anyways, long story short, with some um, foolery, you could possibly make use shutter glasses, the modern day shutter glasses, and make a whole new version of 3D. That's, it would actually have depth between this and that, and I don't know, anyways, just, some, just um, thinking out loud. Um, but the cool thing is here is this is just a hack job what I did here. This is a total, total, total hack job experiment. Gonna tear it apart and throw it away probably when I'm done, okay? But uh, this circuit board, you can have them literally this big. That big, they're really tiny. Um, uh, you, you know, this is just an example of an old, old uh, screen. Well, anyways, if you were to do this, you would have to have a longer ribbon cable that would wrap around the Vectrex and go into a box. And the cool thing about this, since we're not powering a backlight, this takes very little uh, electricity, very little current. So I believe, I haven't measured, but I, I believe it would be less than half an amp, that little. So if, if uh, anyone were to program a, a, a serial interface with the Vectrex cart, to, or the Vect Fever cart to connect to, let's say, a Raspberry Pi that could display video clips or something like that, um, you would be able to power it uh, off the uh, Vect Fever, I believe, if that has pow uh, 5 volt out, and I believe it does. But anyway, so it takes very little power, so you could actually do that. Really cool, right? And uh, so I was experimenting with a little bit with um, controlling the picture with audio, and I had some very interesting effects with that also, but uh, what I did is I hacked a um, uh, test pattern generator to uh, display audio, to display what the audio is doing. But anyways, I'm not going to show you that right now. What I'm going to show you is what it looks like when it's on. Now, this is, remember, this is a digital picture frame, and uh, I put a whole bunch of pictures inside this. Now, these pictures are, some of them are just low-res, to be honest. Low-res images that I found on, you know, I Googled, you know. And others, I just kind of Googled psychedelic, psychedelic images. And then some of the other pictures on this picture frame um, are just me in Microsoft Paint. I made like a red screen, a blue screen, and so on, okay. So let me try to, let me pick something here. Uh, what will be good, Kelly? What would, like... What is a good example of something that would look good? Well, you know what? I kind of like Star Castle. Okay. Now, let me go over here. Now, yeah, I can just press a button and it will switch the overlay. Switch, switch, switch. That's red. Oh, turn the light off, Kelly. Yeah. Turn the light off, and maybe if, if it's darker, it'll show up a little better. That's a little bit better. I don't know if that's better or not, actually. That's yellow. That's blue. That's a cayenne. There's a blue. That's a purple. Yellow. This is like a psychedelic thing, and I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera. Another psychedelic one. Now this, I just made white. This is just the, a white image being displayed. So basically, it, it makes this, this screen clear. Okay? Uh, and this, whoop, I went back, let me go back. This was a test I did, and you, oh, geez, you can't see it in the camera, can you? Can you see it in the camera? I made a test where I just put black bars across. Okay, just to see what it would look like. Um, what else do we have? I think, are we into, yeah, the, this would be a Solar Quest uh, overlay. Can you see the uh, yellow dot in the center? Maybe not. Yeah, you see the yellow dot? Okay, so <clears throat> let me find something that might make this, oh, I know. I'm gonna show you my favorite demo. I like this demo. Okay. 
Ooh, maybe debris. Debris. Uh, let's let's look at that. That's kind of a rasterized game, so yeah, I can go, yeah, so I can change stuff. I, you know, um, yeah. To be honest, that looks just that's like the same screen I get with the color Vectrex, except I have random colors for all the stars. Hmm. It's an interesting screen. I don't even see. To be honest, soon after I got my Vectrex, I. I mean, it wasn't too long before I was using a color monitor, and so I've I've never really had the chance to play with many of the original, um, what's it called? I mean, the overlays. So I don't, I don't even, I can't even identify which overlay goes to where, but uh, let me, let's see here, let me, um, let me go to my favorite, my favorite demo. I don't know why, I just, I just, I like this demo, it's my favorite. Uh... I always like the Viking demo. I would love the Bad Apple demo if it worked a little better. That's a psychedelic one. I hope that I hope that can come through because that looks awesome. That looks cool. Oh, that one's the time pilot. It's a time pilot overlay right there. Let me let that sit, and let me. Uh, there's a spot where it has more dots. We'll take a look at that. Now you can tell it's time pilot, right? What else we got? That's the Star Castle. That's definitely Solar Quest. I mean, uh, Star Castle. There's something. That would be Armor Attack. I don't know what that is. That could be Pole Position? Hmm. This is just some random file that I got off. I, I googled psychedelic. <laughs> but to be honest, if I were to compare that to an actual overlay, it's just, I mean, it's, 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 it looks great. It looks just like it. I'm very impressed because I didn't expect it to be that bright. Actually, it makes the colors better than, than an overlay. Overlays are almost, they almost stay white. Does that make sense? This 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 uh, has like a higher contrast. What else can I do? There's my soft, solid colors again. There's my little bar test I did. Cool, you can just cycle right through the colors you want. Well, um, I guess that's it. Um, can somebody make this? I would, I would love to see this made. I would buy it. Uh, you know, I, I, I myself has, have debated on making some of these and, uh, and uh, selling them. Just because I, I would like to have one myself. And I believe, I have to, I, we'd have to look and find out but there very well could be it. See, this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So that's the shape of the um, LCD panel. I would love to see a 4 by 3 aspect ratio because that is what this tube is. So um, that would be the older monitors, the older, the older screens, uh, you know, probably last produced around 2010, around that era, you know. Um, so yeah. Uh, if, if, if someone could source 4x3 screens that fit that and can source a longer cable uh, and some sort of controller that goes with that screen, that would, I mean, wow, it, would, uh, it wouldn't be too hard to do. But, I don't know, I, I may make a, make a few and give them away, for, you know, for, at cost, I don't know. 
But all right, guys, uh, if you like this kind of crap and all this experimental junk, um, subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can see the next video when it comes out. Have a good one, guys.